welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out Natasha Denona's Puff Paint Liquid Blushes. They came with three different shades. I picked up two different colors, so we're going to be testing them out today. We're going to test the blendability and the pigmentation. And if you guys didn't know, they are running for $22. On their website, it does mention that it has skincare technology infused in the formula, which I find really interesting. It's supposed to give us a natural flush of color. It's supposed to be really lightweight, really easy to use, but obviously you can build the intensity to your personal liking, depending on what you know how much blush you like on and this is also vegan cruelty free paraben free mineral oil free so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything of course will be linked down below in case you guys are interested please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's dive on in and try these on so for today's video you guys the two shades that i picked up is daria which is described as a pink coral blush shade and the other one is bloom which is described as a true berry so i'm really excited to test these out you guys just because i'm really curious to see what it's all about i've always wanted to try natasha denota products they're so highly reviewed and i was really excited to try out a liquid blush for the reason that obviously i you know do wear a certain amount of makeup especially since i do have hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheekbones which are shades darker than my natural skin complexion so it's always really hard for me to find a liquid or cream blush that will work really well applying it over you know my entire situation and so I was really excited to test these out because I have a lot of faith in Natasha Duno and I'm hoping for hoping for and expecting kind of like the best like I feel like she would have the best formula for someone you know like me and to be honest you guys I honestly like the packaging but i felt like we were going to receive a lot more product in our container just because just by looking at it at first you're like okay it's like looks like a tube of lipstick it seems like you'd get a decent amount but to be honest it's mainly like the handle of the applicator and the rest of it is just this little container of the liquid blush. So I'm a little nervous just because, you know, I don't know for the amount of money that we're paying for if this actually is kind of worth it. It kind of makes me a little nervous. Um, but obviously we'll see once we apply it on and see how much product we end up using. It does come with a nice fluffy dofa applicator, which I really like. Obviously you can apply the blush directly on your skin or lightly brush the liquid blush on your brush and then apply it on. There's so many different methods when it comes to the application, but so far I really like it. I do not notice a scent to it whatsoever, which I personally really like. I don't really feel like everything needs a scent, you know? So for today's video, you guys, what I'm gonna do on one side, I'm gonna apply one blush, on the other side, I'm going to apply the other blush, and then I give you guys side-by-side -side comparisons on how they look on in case you guys are debating on which blush you're really interested in, or if you just want to see the side-by-side -side comparisons on the pigmentation and the blendability, we will do that as well. So let's dive on in and try these on. finish applying on both liquid blushes and let's go ahead and talk about them. I want to start off with the packaging because I personally like the packaging. I love the size of it. It reminds me of a tube of lipstick. I love that the handle matches perfectly with the blush shade that you are receiving and I love the Dofa applicator. It's really nice and spongy. I felt like it picked enough product and I love that there has no scent to this product as well. As for the formula of this liquid blush, I definitely feel like it is more of a serum. It's not watering the consistency but also not too thick. It's a perfect in between that once you swatch in the back of your hand and you're mixing the product with your brush you definitely have time to really mix it and then apply it on it doesn't dry down too quickly which I personally really like once you apply it on the top of your cheekbones it definitely feels really lightweight I didn't notice any separation or anything like that with my foundation underneath and so far I personally was really surprised just because when it comes to a cream or liquid blush I always find that most of them in my experience move the foundation it becomes a big mess and you know it just doesn't really work really well for me and my needs I do have hyperpigmentation on top of my cheekbones so I do have to apply a certain amount of foundation to cover that area before going in to apply on blush so it doesn't look like a bruise 
So I was really pleasantly surprised that this really worked really well for me. Once you apply it on, it does have like a natural sheen to it, but I, my biggest suggestion would be use a little fan to really dry down that area. And once it is dry, it has a really pretty powdery matte finish on the top of your cheekbones. So I personally really liked both shades. I think they were really pigmented, to be honest. I went in with two, went in twice, twice with Daria and swatched her on the back of my hand, trying to build the pigmentation for, you know, for my blush. And on the other side, I went in with one swatch of the application to apply on on the other side so for $22 I definitely feel like it is totally worth it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any questions whatsoever comment down below ask away I'm always here to help and if you guys have any video suggestions as well comment down below let me know and as always everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video I love you guys so so much